They're one of the most famous couples of all time. And one of the first ones to get one of those shared nicknames, Brangelina. Because Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie were superstars on their own. But when they got together, uh, and when the co-stars got pregnant and got married and started adopting kid after kid after kid, they became Hollywood's first family. He's my family. And he's not, he's not just a lover and a partner, which he is wonderfully, but, but he's my family now. We have history and we, we, uh, we, you know, we work hard to make, to, to make it great. We don't kind of relax about it and take each other for granted. So like everybody, we, you know, we, we, we have our challenges, but, we, but we're fighting to, to make it great. She got that last part right. They are certainly fighting, but they're not fighting to make their relationship great. They are fighting almost two years into an ugly divorce that just got uglier and nastier. And you can throw any other kind of adjective you want at it. Um, and they're fighting in the kind of way that makes you think that that movie, Mr. and Mrs. Smith, the movie uh, during which they met, was kind of a foreshadow of life. You ain't as bad as you're cooking, sweetheart. And that's saying something. That might just be actually what's happening now, metaphorically. Angelina firing ammo at her husband. Um, but it may also blow up in her face because Angelina just accused Brad of not paying something that she's calling, quote, meaningful child support, meaningful child support since they split. Something he says just isn't true. And now she says he wants uh, or she wants him to cough up money so that they can finally get on with their divorce. But Brad's camp is saying this is just another jab in the bitter custody battle, maybe one of the worst yet, because um, they're not just saying that Brad is all paid up in the money department. They're saying Angelina is trying to drag his name through the mud and just escalate this fight. So I want to bring in my panel. Christina Garibaldi is an Us Weekly correspondent and family law attorney Randy Kessler is with me as well. He's the author of Divorce, Protect Yourself, Your Kids and Your Future. And he just so happened to have been in L.A. last Monday mediating a wealthy athlete's marital woes. Knows a thing or two about that county. All right. So first, Christina, to you and the story itself. What is going on? There's a lot going on. There's a lot to unravel here. So like you said, Angelina said that Brad is evading child support since they split back in 2016. So she's saying it's been almost two years that he, since he provided any money to his children. And we are hearing that. She's not saying any. She's saying meaningful. 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 And that's meaningful. left for everybody right. to judge. There's, yes. no, there's no dollar amount sure, anywhere, there's is no, there? No, there isn't. Well, he is saying that he loaned her $8 million for a home for their children to be close to him in California. And, and in addition to that, $1.3 million dollars for the children's welfare which we are hearing also includes security for his children so there has been some meaningful money that he has been giving now she said like you said that she just wants to kind of wrap this up so it you know puts a puts a bow on this marriage and you know it, it enables them to co-parent well together he is saying that this is just a thinly veiled attempt to manipulate the media and kind of drag his name so through the mud. Also this weird thing that I think his camp has, has let out and that is that they, they had a, a sit down uh, a couple mm -hmm. weeks ago. Yeah, right? no, they did it back in, in meeting. Yes. yes. Nothing yes. like this mentioned in the meeting. No, this is the first time that Angelina has ever said this anything kind of about crappy. money. It is like, kind of crappy. When you go through these things, and mm -hmm. I know of what I speak, okay, I've been through this. So mm -hmm. when you get together and you have children and you come to these lawyers' offices and you meet, typically you kind of collect it all up and oh, you, sure. you do that dump at that time yeah. and you try not to draw out the lawyer's hours. Oh, yeah. So why would that all of this business not have even been whispered during a meeting a few weeks ago? It seems like back in June that they went to the lawyers again because they had a different temporary custody agreement drawn mm -hmm. out. She wanted to take the kids to London while she shot Malef Maleficent 2 for the entire time. And he was like, I don't think so. No, I want to be with my children as well. So the judge ruled in Brad's favor, saying that it's harmful for the children not to have time with their father. So they, it is. Yeah, it she is. She was also told she wasn't allowed to um, to say things sure. nasty, right? Yeah. I'm trying to remember what the uh, the actual order was. You are you are not allowed to, or you you have to tell the children they are safe sure. with their father, with their and their that father. having a healthy relationship mm -hmm. with both parents is critical. Like, yeah. that's a pretty strong 
word of judgment. Real sure. quickly to Randy mm -hmm. Kessler. Um, I don't know what's going on between them. I don't know what kind of agreement they made. I don't know what kind of money's gone back and forth. But what is L.A. like uh, in terms of, of child support and, and, and back child support? Wow, it is la la land. This is the kind of case that all divorce lawyers across the country talk about because there are no rules, there's no norms, you don't have a lot of appellate law because this is such a small percentage of American case law that we look at this kind of case for guidance. There's some unique stuff in California like once they set child support, they then award it retroactively to say this is what you should have been paying and maybe she's mad about the judge's order, maybe she wants to make sure that there's a, you know, he gets the message that two can play at this game. There are all sorts of subtle messages that get sent when you file things like this. We don't know what's happening, but it's interesting to watch and it's fascinating to watch. And hopefully from now on, when we have a case like this, we will say, remember what happened to Brad and Angelina? Don't let it go there. Settle your case. Brad Angelina may be precedent setting. Um, yeah. You know, and listen, everybody should really take a deep breath because sometimes when it's a celebrity, the media is part of the battle. And um, that same kind of stuff wouldn't be going on if they were just Mr. and Mrs. Smith. Sorry, that was unbelievable that that actually worked its way in. But Christina Garibaldi and Randy Kessler, thank you both. Really appreciate it. We'll continue to watch. And I hope those kids are okay. They all seem awfully cute.